What's up, welcome to Tech Select. My name is Linus. And in today's video, we're just doing a quick comparison on unlimited internet uh, connections that you can get, and especially those that are providing a service via fiber connection. So let's get into it. So I recently put out a poll on my Twitter asking you out there what would be um, what would you vote as your top uh, most you know best service in terms of fiber connection? What would you rank as the best service provider in terms of giving you a fiber connection for your home or for your office, but through um, uh, fiber and for unlimited service? And then you did actually give me great feedback right there on the poll. Thank you so much to everybody that did put in uh, their vote. So let's just have a quick look at. Uh, some of those options that I did put out there we had MTN Fiber, Airtel Fiber although that's not the official name they're using uh, Zuku Fiber, Simba Fiber and I'll also be introducing a new player in the market for you in this very video. Now let's just, I wanted to give you a quick look at how they rank among themselves and not only just looking at the results from your poll but these are the results right here. This is what you voted as you know, the most reliable and uh, most preferred um, you know internet unlimited internet service provider you can have right now in uganda so these are the results but now let's break it down a little bit further to get to understand the pros the cons of some of these uh, services right there as they do come through now let's just uh, kick the ball off with of course the number one right there which would be uh mtn now mtn wakanet pro is their unlimited uh fiber option there are other wakanet max wakanet what but my fi but you're looking for Wakanet Pro if you're looking for you know the fiber option so Wakanet Pro is uh, right there and based on those that have used it and uh, they do uh, agree and have voted it as number one right than the list but now looking at it as um, setup installation is a hundred thousand Uganda shillings a hundred thousand Uganda shillings for you to install and uh, this is paid through the my MTN app of course to be linking you uh, to your mobile money for you to pay uh, for that service so you got the you got two packages in there in the Wakanet Pro and that is uh, package number one being 20 Mbps that's megabits per second that will be about 195,000 and then the second package is 40 Mbps 40 megabits per second and that is 295,000 Uganda shillings so that is what you get with MTN now just looking at the negatives and the positives of MTN Waka Net Pro. Uh, let's start with the negative bit. You know, we always like to get the negative out of the way. Number one, the one thing I didn't like about it is um, the limited uh, torrents. There is a way their firewall limits your torrenting speeds it cuts them down to a particular threshold i think this is part of their fair use policy or something like that but i find this particularly annoying because by the time i'm paying for unlimited internet definitely i want access to all everything so why limit some things and give some other things uh right there so that for me was a negative and i really don't like and then also the other thing that i would talk about as a negative of wakanet pro is um sometimes sometimes not all the time but sometimes uh during the daytime or peak hours there is a speed drop unless you're subscribed for the 20 mbps uh package during the daytime peak hours you'd notice your speed drop to about 10 11 12 mbps now i'm not saying that that is a bad speed it's actually good usable speed but hey if you paid for 20 why don't you just leave it as 20 on a constant why does it have to keep dropping and what and all this hula balloon now going over to the positive uh part of it mtn wakanet pro the positive um side of it why it's actually ranking as number one for me and also for you people outside there that did vote um number one is the internet is reliable it's something you pay for and you're sure um you know you're going to have internet throughout the month without lots of downtime so it's actually very reliable and then it is also fast apart from during peak hours where it kind of drops a little bit but it is fast and also if you're not doing torrenting and then the coverage compared to the competition um MTN Fiber has really, really great coverage. They cover a wide area of Kampala, outside Kampala. Almost everywhere you'll find a pole somewhere with a stamp on it reading MTN, and that gives it leverage above all the others. Right. Let's move over to option number two, which is Airtel Fiber. Actually, Airtel Fiber does not call it Airtel Fiber. They actually call it, um, let me just get it right here. They call it Airtel Extreme Wi-Fi. 
That's what they call it. They don't call it Airtel Fiber. They call it Airtel Extreme Wi-Fi. Now, Airtel has been lagging behind in a long, you know, for a long, long time. They're not offering us an unlimited fiber option until recently, actually this year, I think it was uh, 2023, when we started seeing the posters roll up, a little bit of information left and right about them introducing a new um, unlimited option, which is delivered via fiber, and they called it the Airtel Extreme Wi-Fi. Now, there is Airtel Extreme, which is delivered via microwave assistant, but that is for bundles. And in this particular video, we are not talking about bundles whatsoever. We are talking about unlimited internet. So if you're planning on buying uh, internet from Airtel, make sure that your package reads Airtel Extreme Wi-Fi. If you just go buy Airtel Extreme, you might get stuck with the the bundles thing so airtel extreme wi-fi is their version of uh you know fiber internet that they do offer to the people out there and then of course they also bring it in at very competitive price prices all right the left we'll look at it um installation installation price is a hundred thousand shillings and this a hundred thousand is paid via the, an airtel merchant code if you want to get all this information you can check out on the airtel um website right there it will give you all the information on how you can pay what the code is and all that but installation is a hundred thousand paid via merchant code right there and then here are the different packages you get so they have three packages on airtel wi-fi extreme and that is uh, 50 mbps that will set you back about 350,000 uganda shillings 30 mbps and that is about 250,000 shillings and then 10 mbps which is 170,000 uganda shillings already i'm beginning to see there's a very big difference in the pricing between airtel and mtn right there now let's get to the negatives of airtel number one is limited coverage i think because they're still new into the whole thing their coverage is a bit limited as of the recording of this video um when i tried to inquire about their Fiber Ridge, I was being told they are within uptown areas such as Chanja, Chisasi, Bukoto. So if you're out of these areas, um, it's kind of tricky to get Airtel Extreme. But of course, I know they're going to be expanding the network. So anytime soon, they might be in your area. And then also the other downside I found with Airtel Extreme is there is no clear information about the service. They're a little bit of... Um, shady if i may use that word they're not so clear about the service itself there's not so much advertising going on about the product there's not so much information about the product it's kind of like a hush hush well kept secret i don't know why they don't really push out a full rollout you know telling the public about it about the essence of such awesome awesome stuff right there maybe because they want people to stay buying data bundles i don't know why by the way so those are the two uh, things so the other thing now if we flip over to the positive side of it one it's fast and reliable Come on is fiber internet so you actually get what you pay for i am yet to get it installed and actually test it physically um to figure out if there are any limits any caps or what but as of now basing on the information i'm getting off people who have tried subscribing for it and all that they say it is fast and reliable and then the best bit of it is unlimited so it has no data caps whatsoever you won't be expecting them to tell you you've used 10 mb you've used 100 mb you've used 200 gb no it's unlimited knock yourself out and that is what internet is supposed to be now moving over to the other contestant on our list right here if you do notice in our poll we had mtn airtel zuku and simba now let's move over to uh zuku right there in their order of right there now zuku fiber has been around for a while i must say and i even remember at one point somebody dropped me a comment like hey help me review uh, zuku fiber i'm planning on getting it what do you think about it now one i did not get a chance to um check out zuku fiber because one they are not in my rich area and that's already negative for them in that their rich area is not so great they're in particular places uh much as i remember they're in nalia i don't remember very well if in Bugolobi, but something like that their coverage area is really really small then the other thing about zuku is um they, they don't really have good customer care that, that, that's why i'll give it to them their customer care is not really good don't expect any good customer care from zuku if you're planning on getting their ads they take long to respond they take long to receive to receive their phone calls when they tell you we're going to get back to you they do not when they say we are coming to survey they don't it, it's just 
what I would call you get what you pay for with Zuku really so um, that is the negative side of it positive side of it again it's unlimited internet so you are guaranteed that you're not going to run out of data bundles or something like that in case maybe you say you want to need uh, to download 100 GB you're not going to run out the other downside maybe if we go back uh, a little bit of Zuku is um, Basing on, I have a friend of mine who has their service in uh, Nalia and they were telling me they have a lot of downtime. I think this is because there's a lot of road construction going on. So most of the time the fiber is getting cut, fiber is getting cut. So there's lots of fiber cuts going on uh, right there. But if we do look at their pricing right there, um, their installation is uh, free, which is actually a good catch point if you're really targeting. So the installation is free and then they have 10 Mbps at 169,000, 20 Mbps at 219,000, 40 Mbps at 339,000 and then 100 Mbps at uh, 559,000 shillings. So in terms of variety of packages, Zuko does actually have variety of packages. If only, if only they would one, expand their network so that it can reach many more places and two, improve on their customer service, that would be really, really great. Okay, so let's move over to our last contender in this list, which was Simba Fiber. Now, Simba Fiber is also one of those companies that, you know, gives you a good service, but they don't really do a lot of advertising for it. I don't know because if it is expense in advertising or something like that, but let's just say the advertising for their product is not really out there. But if we may look, first of all, uh, before we get into their prices, if we may look at the good and the bad of Simba Fiber, um, let's start with the negative. Number one, just like the ones I've mentioned earlier, their coverage is not so good. They're in limited cover, you know, the coverage is really limited. Their fiber map has not stretched all over the country. So it's just in particular select places of Kampala. So you need to take note of that. And then also what you need to note is um, they don't have so good customer service as well. Uh, when I tried to get them installed in a certain place, the survey took forever to happen. They took forever to get back to me. So that's just some of the kinks they do have to sort out on the positive side of things one their service is actually affordable they give affordable packages and of course it's unlimited internet so that is really really great so if you notice that uh, the pricing is really really uh, competitive right there so this gives them advantage in an advantage age over the others right there so that is the main contenders that i gave you guys in the poll for unlimited internet however I would like to introduce to you another company that has just come in uh, in terms of providing fiber internet for your homes and this is called Sprint. Now, Sprint UG, uh, they're actually called Sprint UG is a new company. Um, they're also new in the internet market uh, right here in Uganda. So they've also started, they started actually the company providing uh, internet via microwave uh, systems right there and of late they have introduced fiber uh, the packages themselves are not that expensive so if we look at Sprint UG their connection fee installation fee is 300,000 Uganda shillings I think this is the highest most expensive installation cost on this list so Sprint installation is 300,000 shillings and the package you're looking for is Sprint Ultra and then that will give you 10 Mbps and that price will be 160 65,000 for 10 Mbps. So installation 300,000, then 165K for 10 Mbps of unlimited fiber connection. Now, one thing I can really note about Sprint in the fiber um, journey right now is one they are new that means their coverage is not that big so that is a downside for them but i believe they're working very hard to push coverage everywhere now the other thing i would really hope they would do is if they would use the old um, version of microwave but still give people the same package they're giving on fiber now that would be awesome i wish all these other companies would pick up on that mtn airtel if someone does not have um fiber connection to their place why not give them a microwave option but give them the same package this would actually push the cost of internet you know a little lower and make it more affordable uh, for us all so there you have it a quick recap on what is the best um home unlimited internet solution that you can have out there these are different options if you want to uh, purchase any of them you can just go on 
on their websites or on their respective apps put in a requisition let them know where you are let them survey see if you have coverage and i do hope you have coverage because when you have unlimited internet you get to watch my videos which i really really appreciate so much so thank you so much for watching all my videos all that are, those that have subscribed i do thank you so much if you haven't subscribed go hit the subscribe button notification bell so that you are alerted each time i drop a video on this channel but for today it is a wrap and allow me to tell you bye bye and i shall see you in the next video ciao